Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's well. Um, I'm not real happy with that panel. I've got to do some more work to it, but I'll probably just bog it up. Um, I will eventually probably get another quarter panel for the VG. But I went on a bit of a shopping shopping spree yesterday, and uh, got this nice old school roof rack for the AP6. And Bob was checking out the other purchase, so. I actually did get a motor. First of all, I bought a three speed gearbox and shifter and knob. Now, I've been looking on the internet. Now, I paid 200 bucks for the gearbox and shifter from a real a nice gentleman down in Adelaide. And uh, I've been seeing the knob for about 200 bucks by itself. And then the shifter bit, I think I paid for the AP61. 200 bucks from Queensland or something and then what I've got is a it's been advertised for a while but doesn't look too bad um, a 245 30 fair over 245 um, the dude was doing up for a car I've seen it for sale for a while it was 800 bucks at one stage but I got that old bugger for about 400 bucks so um, it's got the head and everything in it so I'm gonna whack it in there and get the get it registered so I know it's in my name and I can pull it apart and redo it everything. I'll probably pull that motor apart and give it a freshen. So the roof rack will be going on today, so that's that's cool. Should suit the car. But yeah, I'm sort of there's a lot of creases and bends in this bloody thing, so I mean, I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to replace the whole quarter panel. I'll get something to do it. I was talking to a guy yesterday. I'm also talking to um, Mick from Restoration Revival. That guy does amazing work. Not too sure how much it's going to cost, but um, I might get him to do it. Unless I know I'll be absolutely spot on. That dude just does some wild, wild panel work. Um, this side's not too bad, it's just that lower quarter, which I'll have a go with that, but yeah, I don't think big panels, big panels are my forte. Definitely is a specialist job. The AP6 like, lower quarter panel turned out alright, there was a lot of stuffing around, but I did get it eventually, not too bad. Uh, but that's the update on the VG, so what I'm going to do, yeah, put the motor and gearbox in, just sit the head on top, put the guards back on, put the bonnet back on, maybe put the grill in. And head down and get an ID inspection on it. Um, our local cops do it here in Murray Bridge, so. And I'm sort of. I should really paint it, but I'm sort of toying with just doing the same old patina look, you know what I mean? I'm going down to Bunnings today to get some of the anchor wax and try that on the AP. And if that turns out alright, I'll just do the same to this and just leave it as a roughy. Um, but I do want it to be straight. I don't want. Yeah, I don't want it that rough, but it's super rough. <laughs> if that makes sense. Hey mate. What do you think? Old bomber's doing alright. Come here, bud. Yeah. He's, he's checking out the car. What do you think, mate? Huh? Hey buddy? You're a good boy, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I've got him from the gaps. So if you want a dog, these greyhounds are pretty good, man. Yeah. Pretty happy old fella. 10 years old, oh there he goes, that's right, bow down to me, bow down to your master, that's correct, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you good boy, um, yeah, it's a bad idea, I might end up probably next in a couple of weeks, I'll get a new windscreen for it, and get the rubbers and stuff, so I've got all that stuff sitting there, doesn't matter if it sits there for 6, 12 months or something, but as long as you've got it, um, the roof lining's not really that bad, she might be just a, a mask up job and paint job maybe. Oh, maybe he thinks this motor's pretty cool. What do you think, Bob? Why are you sniffing the distributor hole? Hmm. He's just making sure it's all good. Um, yeah, that's about it to report. I haven't been doing too much. There's a. I'm going to do another video in a minute and show you. It. There's a thing up in November for all ratty cars. It's called. Um, Oh, what was it called? Patain or something or other, but it's in central Victoria. It's about 400 and 
from 450 case from here so I'm sort of toying with towing the car over or driving over driving it over but everyone seems to think driver drive. something snaps or breaks in there but I don't mind the challenge I guess um, as you can see I haven't bothered cleaning out the shed really well um, I've got that slant 6 motor up the back I was going to whack that in here and see if we can get it rested but yeah now I've got the 245 that'll do um, apparently all that 245 needed was some lifters so while I'm doing that I might, I might put a bit of a cam in it and give it a bit of oomph uh, get the head shaved or something some old school mods um, come with a pile of parts leads and bits and pieces I don't even think it's missing so I can get off that seized motor. I think the timing cover, I'll put a new timing chain on that on it, but the timing cover on that, I can get it off this old seized motor. Um, there's the guards, they're not too bad, look at it. Is it the one? No, yeah. no this one here, I've got to do a bit of work here. That's just a bit of flat stuff cut out and welded in. Put stuff there. Um, I probably will be looking for another bonnet. Um, and that's about it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, I've been putting too much up, but not too much has been happening. Um, yeah. All right, stay tuned, and I'll try and get another video for you soon. Take care, all. Stay tuned.